Oh my gosh, this is my first cooking DVD. I'm Patty LaBelle, and I'm gonna show you so many things. I mean, so many people have been asking me, when are you gonna do a cooking DVD? And I'll always say, as soon as I can. So right now, I can. So I'm gonna start off with my brisket. It's called Patty LaBelle Bangin' Brisket. I just made that name up, but that's really what it is. It bangs. First, you get some light olive oil. That's what I use. And then you put it in this beautiful pot. <laughs> it's a beautiful pot. It's preheated, so it should sizzle in a bit. And the reason I do this is because I want to brown my beautiful brisket. The brisket itself, it's too big for the pan, but I can do it anyway. I can put this whole brisket in because the size will be heated and it will touch the brisket. Or I can cut a piece off. What do you want me to do? Oh, cut a piece off. Okay, I'll cut a piece off. I do this because I don't like to use those boards. First I cut, come on knife, it's a good knife. And then I will season it. Okay, move, okay. Oh, not safe. Here's the salt, sea salt, okay? Season this piece too because I'm gonna use it. Then I use seasoned salt. And mind you, I don't do all of this salt when I'm cooking for myself because I'm diabetic, but for you guys, I have to make it a little nice. And that's with uh, more salt than I would usually use. I like to use pepper, lots of pepper, red pepper, black pepper, green pepper, whatever. And I have something else new. It's um, hot sauce. LaBelle, number four, hot flash. That's me. I have my own products now, and um, they're awesome. I love this um, hot flash hot sauce because it's a blend of jalapenos and habanero peppers, uh, two of my favorite hot peppers. This is very, very hot. If you like hot, try this. Okay, you just put some on. It's so good. Meanwhile, my pan is getting almost too hot. I put a lot on. That's enough. And then I flip it, of course, and season the other side. You have to season all the meat, like really thoroughly. Some people just season one side. Why? <laughs> I don't know. But here's the pepper. Here's the sea salt. And as I said again, I'm not seasoning it for myself. I'm seasoning it for you if you're not diabetic. And um, I have to uh, turn my pot on. Actually, it was on earlier, but I turned it off because it was getting too hot. Now it's on and it's, it's perfect. And here's a little more hot flash. <laughs> okay, now I have to put this in. Whoa. Sounds beautiful. Now this little girl, if you want to be ghetto fabulous, <laughs> or if you just want to cook, <laughs> you can put this in also, because it fits on the side. And eventually it's all going to get done. You know, if it doesn't get brown here, it will in the oven. Now, I have to cut up a real onion. And like the bigger the chunks, the better because it's gonna be cooking for a long time. Ooh, this is a rock and roll knife. You know, you rock it and it rolls and it does all this stuff. Move. Okay, wait a minute, let me just get this in. And then when you flip it, of course the onions are gonna go to the bottom, but it doesn't matter. As long as they get in there. You're gonna cook it for five hours or more if you want. My reason for, for cooking brisket is because I, uh, as a child, my mother had a great brisket recipe and I learned how to cook watching her. I was one of those little kitchen babies. 
I stayed in the kitchen with my father and my mother, who cooked all the time, and Naomi, a lady who lived with us, who made the best fresh fried corn. My father made the best potato salad, and my mother made the best brisket. I cook a lot for friends, and I made brisket for Diane Warren uh, maybe three years ago, and Hallie Robinson, Pete, and Sheila E., they came to my, um, my house when I lived in L.A. And I made brisket, fresh fried corn, macaroni and cheese, and they got there and they were starving and the brisket was done. And Holly went in the pan and started eating the brisket like crazy. Diane Warren is a vegetarian. She never eats meat until she tasted this brisket. That heifer's eating meat now, okay? Because of my brisket. Now, this is ready to turn. It could have gone a little longer. My brisket is so good, it turns vegetarians into uh, meat eaters. And like I said, I just, <laughs> I cook it until it falls apart. You really never have to cut it. Just take a, a fork and just pick it up. And um, say that it's cooked for four hours. Then I would add potatoes and carrots and celery or whatever I want to add. But today I'm just adding scallions, the real onion, the big onion, garlic. And I put garlic in so it can, the flavor of the garlic can just be in here all day. Add the water, and you add some beef stock, if you have it. If not, you can add chicken stock also, because that's good. And this keeps it from sticking, you know, once you put it in the oven. And I'm gonna add a little more Patti LaBelle's uh, hot flash to it. So it can swim in heat. Ah, <sighs> good. I'm gonna add a little more black pepper, because I can, okay? And some more seasoned salt. And then I'm gonna take it to the river. I'm gonna drop it in the oven for, like I said, five hours, okay? All right, now I'm gonna turn it off so when I put my mitts up, <laughs> it won't catch on fire. First, I have to open the oven. And my oven is at 375. And um, I'm gonna make other things while this is cooking. It's heavy. You have to be strong to carry a pot like this. You gotta be a real woman. Okay, oh gosh, a real woman. Okay, that's it. Well, that's not really it because I have to add the uh, carrots and the potatoes uh, after four hours of cooking. And I'm gonna do the macaroni and cheese. Seven cheeses with lobster and shrimp. Patty LaBella, okay? So when I come back, I'm gonna show you my way over the top macaroni, seafood, and cheese.